It's flood season and the residents of Ngozika Estate in Oka are already helpless. Their streets and homes are, once again, flooded, as it has become a yearly occurrence in the area. Speak to us. The director residents say the flood issue are man-made, as some developers have blocked flood channels with structures. Like 2022, it was a terrible disaster, unprecedented, as some people have said. But we found out that after the camps and then the retreat, uh, so much was said in the National Assembly about what was going to be done by way of post-disaster intervention. Money was mentioned, other things were mentioned. But what we got at the end of the day, we have made the politics. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities require member nations to make persons with disability priority during disaster moments. That most of the holding centers, as you heard, we have 27 holding centers, and most of them are not, if not all, are not disability friendly. Over the years, flood has continued to deal deadly blows on the people of Anambra State in various local government areas. And while some are caused by environmental recklessness, others are due to proximity to riverine location. For the 2024 rainy season, some local government areas of Anambra are still predicted to be affected by the flooding. These local government areas, which are under high and moderate flood risk areas, include Obaru, Anambra East, Anambra West, Aye Melum, Aya Melum, Idemili North, Onisha North, Newi North, Idemili South, Onisha South, Iyala, and Ekusigo. Flagging off the sensitization campaign on behalf of Governor Chukuma Soludo, the Deputy Governor notes the efforts of the state government in providing succor to flood-affected areas. We simply put it as a short-term plan, a mid-term plan, and a long-term plan. The short-term plans are what we are doing now, which may simply be described in what we as emergency services. In the mid-term plans, emergency services plus some infrastructural interventions. Vis a vis building of embankments, even expanding our big gutters, keeping them clean all the time. This cuts across the first term, term plan and the second term plan. And then the final plan, which is the long term plan, we can put a stop to this disaster as it may be described. It's more than one the sensitization exercise features discussion on risk communication strategies towards effective dissemination of early flood warning messages to the appropriate quarters to ensure everyone is enlightened to avoid casualties and preventable damages.